reflecting on the mirror question 1 to 5 do the following statements reflect the claims of writer in reading passage 1 true false not given 6 to 9 complete the labels on diagram below 10 to 13 choose the correct letter a b c d first is the greeks and egyptians used polished silver to make mirrors its answer is in paragraph a and last line in addition to bronze the greeks and romans experimented with polished silver to produce simple mirrors its answer is false because the statement contradict the information the reason is this greeks and egyptians the statement that greeks and egyptians used polished silver to make mirrors what information given in the paragraph is this greeks and romans experimented with polished silver to produce simple mirrors so reason being that it is false second is the first man made mirrors were made of bronze its answer is in same paragraph a reading from this line it is not altogether clear when the first man made mirrors were produced but mirrors made of brass are mentioned in the bible its answer is also false because the statement claims that the first man made mirrors were made of bronze but but information available in passage is this it is not altogether clear when the first man made mirrors were produced but mirrors made of brass are mentioned in bible so it's false third is only the wealthy could afford the first mirrors paragraph b during the early periods of their development mirrors were rare and expensive the statement is that only the wealthy could afford the first mirror and this is true the reason is that in a paragraph it is clearly mentioned that during the early periods of their development mirrors were rare and expensive the reason being that they were expensive so only wealthy people could afford them so it is true the first mirrors in america were used for decoration it is not given but still there is the mention for america in paragraph c a little later on america was gripped by the mirror craze only this time they were interested in large mirrors in house after house in a residential district and eastern cities there could be found one long mirror after another placed between two front parlor windows so none of the passage confirms or denies that first mirrors in america were used for decoration so this is the reason it is not given fifth is spherical mirrors are commonly used in cars its answer is in paragraph e spherical mirrors spherical mirrors produce images that are magnified or reduced exemplified by mirrors for applying facial makeup and by rear view mirrors for vehicle this statement is true because in paragraph e this line claims that spherical mirrors produce images that are magnified or reduced and by rear view mirrors which are used in vehicles so it is true 6 to 9 complete the labels on diagram a below diagram a magnified side view of a mirror and the options are given in the box this is the front of the mirror and this is the back in the manufacture of mirrors today plate glass is cut to size and all blemishes are removed by polishing with rug the glass is scrubbed and flushed with a reducing solution before silver is applied and the first layer is of the glass which is scrubbed and flushed 
with the reducing solution before silver is applied. So from this the ninth is glass. The glass is then placed on a hollow cast iron table top curved with felt and kept warm by steam. A solution of silver nitrate is poured on the glass and left undisturbed for about one hour. And the left next layer after over the glass is of silver nitrate, which is poured on glass and left undisturbed for about one hour. And the next layer is of silver nitrate H. And the next is the silver nitrate is reduced to a metallic silver and a lustrous deposit of silver gradually forms. The deposit is dried, coated with salic and painted. And the next, that deposit is dried and coated with salic. And the next coating is of salic, which is E. And uh, next, eighth. And then it is painted. The eighth is paint I. 10 to 13, choose the correct letter A, B, C, or D. 10th is the type of mirror used for looking at stars is A, B, C, D. 4. And its answer is in the same paragraph E where I found about the spherical mirrors. A paraboloidal mirror is one which is often used to focus parallel rays to a sharp focus, as in telescope mirror. Or to produce a parallel beam from a source at its focus such as a searchlight. Telescope is used for looking at the stars, so in telescope, paraboloidal mirror is used, so its answer is A. Eleventh is 17th century craftsmen. Its answer is in paragraph F. From the late 17th century onwards, mirrors and their frames played an increasingly important part in the decoration of rooms. Complementing the shiny reflective mirrors, the early frames were usually of ivory, silver, ebony, or tortoise shell, or were bannered with walnut, olive, and labrinum. Craftsmen such as Grinling Gibson often produced elaborately carved mirror frames to match a complete decorative ensemble. From this, this line clarifies that in 17th century onward, mirrors were produced or carved mirror frames to match a complete decorative assemble. If something matches, it blends in well with something else. So its answer is A. Blended mirror frames well with other household furniture. Twelfth is 18th century craftsmen. Its answer is in the same paragraph F. Focusing heavily on the effect created by mirrors. 18th century designers such as English brothers Robert and James Adam created fireplace units stretching from the hearth to the ceiling. The beginning of this line clearly focused that the uniqueness of mirrors properties were the primary focus which is here Focusing heavily on the effect created by the mirrors, 18th century designers such as English brother Robert and James Adam created fireplace units stretching from the hearth to the ceiling. They, their primary focus was on uniqueness of mirrors. So its answer is A. Designed furniture with highlighted the unique properties of mirrors, which is given that these two brothers, Robert and James Adam, created fireplace units stretching from the hearth to the ceiling because purely focusing heavily on the effect created by the mirror. Thirteenth is 19th century craftsmen. Its answer is in last paragraph. Reading from this line, new cheaper 
techniques of mirror production in the 19th century led to a great proliferation in their use not only were they regularly incorporated into the pieces of furniture such as bathrobe and sideboards they were also used in everything from high power telescopes to decorative schemes in public places and from the beginning of this line not only were they regularly incorporated into the pieces of furniture this line clears that the mirrors were regularly incorporated into the pieces of furniture such as bathrobe and sideboards this is very similar to saying that mirrors were used extensively in bedroom furniture so its answer is c used mirrors extensively in bedrooms furniture